What's up everybody and welcome to another video tutorial. I'm Joshua Kaspar and today it's all about fade to gray. Um, if you don't know about this effect, it's a cool effect. It's in the audio effects rack presets under performance and DJ. Um, I'll show you real quick what it does and then I'll show you how to make it two different ways. And um, the reason why I'm going to do that is just so you can see how to um, do some advanced um, chaining and routing to get some really cool effects and um, a couple of different ways to do it and yada 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 so you can kind of figure it out and then make some of your own. Um, this is my loop and this is my loop with fade to gray. Turn this down. So I'm going to show you how to make that effect. Um, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and email me and let me know what you want to know. And I will do my best to teach you. This is um, an email I got about making some cool custom effects. So I hope this helps and we're going to go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do is take a audio effects rack, drop it on the first audio channel. Then take a EQ3, drop it right where it says drop audio effects then take a ping pong delay drop it right next to it turn off the highs turn off the lows hit map mode we're gonna click on the gain mids hit map frequency low hit map frequency high hit map feedback on the ping pong hit map dry wet hit map come up here change this um, this is the gain mids on the EQ3 change this to zero change this to negative six one nine Boom. Change this to 203. This is the frequency low. 203 kilohertz. The frequency high. You change this to 18 kilohertz. I think it's all the way up. Drag it all the way up and then pull this down to um, 218. Boom. And then just change um, the dry wet to 95%. Um, and another thing too, um, this is gonna the fade to gray, the original and this one that we've done right here um, will overload the channel. So what I always do is just drop a limiter on there, turn it down a little bit because we're not we're like trying to amplify it. We're just trying not to let it redline. So anyway, um, go ahead and play your sample and let's see what it does. So bam, there you go. That's the original fade to gray. Um, very, very cool effect. Obviously, you can play around with everything in here. Um, you can try mapping some more um, map some more parameters out. But uh, that's that's the way they do it. Um, and now I'm going to show you a, a separate way to do it that gets a kind of similar effect. Um, go ahead and delete all that. Go back into here and go ahead and drop another audio effects rack on there. Expand your macro knobs come down here to an auto filter drop that on there and then another ping pong delay you can also use simple delay if you like it's uh, really up to you hit map mode map the oh, get out of map mode for a second and change it to a um, high pass filter hit map mode we're gonna map the frequency feedback dry wet and this is actually an easier way to do it but it's not as a dynamic effect but um Go ahead and change this down to 95. And let's see how that works. I think that's it. Yeah, it should be it. So I'll go ahead and run it. Sorry about the glitch there. For those of you who watch all my tutorials, you'll know that it's my flipping screen capture software. But anyway, that's it. Um, that's, you know, without doing anything. We map like three things, three parameters, and we got a really cool effect, and it's custom, and you can call it Earth. Your name here, effect. Um, that's it. I hope you liked the tutorial. Um, rate, subscribe, comment, like I said before. Email me, let me know what you want. Follow me on Twitter. 
because I always post cool stuff about Ableton and other you know technology driven type information and yada 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 so anyway um, all the links are in the sidebar and we'll see you next time